Well, this weekend, Denver Pride is in full swing. The festival started this morning with a 5K and goes through tomorrow evening. More than half a million people went last year, and organizers say it's one of the biggest Pride festivals in the country. Nine News reporter Courtney Yoon joins us from the festival grounds at Civic Center Park. And Courtney, so much going on there this weekend. Today, you talked to an artist who has a big project there. Yeah, Steve, that's right. Each year there is a big art installation at Denver Pride. You can see it right behind me here in the middle of Civic Center Park. Local artist Lonnie Hansen has been creating these sculptures for Pride since 2015. And this year his 28 foot, foot tall uh, sculpture is called Love is Love. Honestly, it just looks so happy and it made, made me feel joy. 300 yards of rainbow silk flying in the air caught Rocio Portella's eye. And then as you walk up close, you see that there's like important, little more political messaging. Once she's drawn in, she understands the artist's intent for the sculpture called Love is Love. There's joy and beauty and celebration, but there's also very real issues going on that we need to remind ourselves of and those two can coexist. So although we're celebrating we still have a laundry list of work to do. We're still fighting for our lives. Local artist Lonnie Hanzon says each year of Pride has had a compelling reason for him to come back and create more art for the community. My message in this one is sort of participate joyfully in the sorrows of the world. You know, all the things that we're having to protest today, that, that drag is not a crime. Hanzon sculpture brings up topics like bigotry, racism, reproductive health care, and climate change. Trans rights are human rights. I can't believe we have to still be protesting this stuff. You know, when you think this year alone, there's been more than 600 anti-LGBTQ laws that have been put forward in state legislatures around the country. It's incredibly uh, impactful to our community. Stephen Hayden says being at Pride means liberation and a sense of belonging. So colorful and beautiful, and it just reminds us that indeed love is love. Not everything is joy, but we can't forget to celebrate our, our love amongst all of it. Although the emotions that go along with a sculpture like this may be complex, it reminds Portella that there's still work to be done while celebrating progress. Joy is resistance too, so I think it's a fun way to represent that. And Hansen tells us that he, they try to recycle as much as they can year to year. This year, the base of this sculpture is actually made from old corn syrup totes that they fill with water. Uh, Denver Pride is free to enter. Today it goes until 7 p.m. And then it's also going on tomorrow with the parade kicking off the festivities at 9.30 in the morning. If you do want to see this art installation again, it's right behind me here in the center of Civic Center Park at Denver Pride. Steve, back to you. Right, Courtney, powerful message in the center of the city. Thank you so much.